Hello Hunters. In this video I will be analysing the accents and vocal performances in the cult classic Bloodborne by FromSoft. If ever a game deserved a remake it's this one. So get on it Sony you idiots, nobody wants more Horizon boring dawn out west. First up we have the NPCs, with the bosses, well the ones that have human speech to follow at the end. Adela, nun of the Healing Church, comes equipped with an estuary accent and not much else. This voice suits the character as she needs to convey being scared in an articulate manner. Oh, by your God, the Healing Church, you've got to save me. Oh, thank you, dear saint. The afflicted beggar, who is harbouring a beastly secret, has a rough and ready Cockney accent. Get used to that because you'll be hearing it from the majority of the NPCs in the game. Blimey, don't scare me like that. On a night like this, I took you for a monster. Oh, thank the stars, you're fairly normal. Was it you who put down that awful beast? Ariana, woman of pleasure, who is a lady of the, um, well, she's a prost... She was a hacker! ...speaks in a northern English accent. I guess they wanted her to sound common, but in a way that differentiates her from the other Yarnum lower classes. Oh, hello dear. You weren't lying. This is a safe place. Thank you. I'm in your debt. I'd like to tender my thanks, but I haven't much to offer. This bigoted old man is another Cockney Sparrow. It seems Yarnum is modelled very much on the East End of London. Well, the old East End. Most of the Cockneys have fled to Essex by now. Huh. Yeah, sorry. Too sharp for that, bollocks. I know a superstition when I hear one. Outsiders. Even their lies are predictable. The old woman, found in the central Yarnham Canal Bridge area, speaks in an estuary accent, possibly reflecting her slightly higher status. Yeah, I should have known. You're good for nothing. No respect for the elderly is what that is. That little good you outsiders do. Go on, admit it. You think we're all mad, don't you? The young girl, who is almost certainly Father Gascoigne's daughter, speaks in an estuary accent, which is odd given his own accent, but we'll get to that later. Hello, Mr. Hunter. Still can't find my mum. Mr. Hunter, was it really her? And her older sister sounds much the same. Ah, uh, you haven't by any chance seen my little sister, have you? I told her to look after the house, but she's run off somewhere. Annalise, Queen of the Vile Bloods, fittingly for a member of the aristocracy, speaks in an upper class accent. Kneel for us, or get thee gone. Visitor, moon scented hunter. I am Annalise, Queen of Castle Canehurst. The mysterious blood minister who injects you with the yarn and blood in the intro to the game speaks in an RP accent which gives him a professional air like a hospital consultant. You need only unravel its mystery. But where's an outsider like yourself to begin? Easy, with a bit of yarn and blood of your own. Yosefka, the real one, has a kind, caring demeanour and speaks in an RP accent. She sounds very much like the sort of kindly physician you'd want looking after your children. Are you still in need of something? But I have nothing more to offer. Please, try to understand my position. I can only pray for a fruitful hunt. The imposter that assumes her identity is also very well spoken, but sounds much more evil and unhinged, like the sort of physician you'd want looking after your kids if you hated them and wanted them to have massive alien heads. God, I'm nauseous. Have you found this? It's progressing. I can see things. I knew it. I'm different. I'm no beast. Eileen the Crow speaks in a very no-nonsense northern accent to portray her no-nonsense taking down renegade hunter-style wave. Oh, hello there. Perfect timing. I must warn you, 
not to go near the tomb below Erden Chapel in the Cathedral Ward. Henrik, an old hunter, has gone mad. Gilbert, the poor bastard who's busy dying of infection in his house, speaks in a middle-class Scottish accent, perhaps to mark him out as more memorable when compared to the other unseen residents you interact with. I'm Gilbert, a fellow outsider. You must have had a fine time of it. Your Alum has a special way of treating guests. Provost Willem has what I believe to be an Oxford Don style of RP accent. Very appropriate, given his status as a head of the Bergenworth College. We are born of the blood, made men by the blood, undone by the blood. Our eyes are yet to open. Fear the old blood. The creepy looking, but actually really nice and helpful, Erden Chapel dweller. Sounds like the sort of old school cockney you'd see in an Ealing comedy. Yarnum's done for, I tell ya. But if you spot anyone with their wits about them, tell them about this here Erden Chapel. They'll be safe here. The incense wards off the beasts. Spread the word. Tell them to come on over. The ubiquitous Patches, now in spider form for some reason, still has his happy-go-lucky South London accent. Hmm. Now wait just a moment. Do you think you love me? Me? Oh, it pains me to hear it. You've made yourself a Miss Reckoning. The plain doll speaks in a light Baltic or perhaps Czech accent, reflecting her otherworldly nature within the game's world. This may sound strange, but have I somehow changed moments ago from some place, perhaps deep within? I sensed a liberation from heavy shackles. Retired hunter Jura has a very Shakespearean RP accent, which is necessary given his booming, no pun intended, speeches he makes when the player enters Old Yarnum. What brings you to Old Yarnum? I've no interest in matters further up. But you must not disturb this place. The beasts do not venture above and mean no harm to anyone. Alfred, who is sort of like a bloodthirsty Solaire in this game, Sounds very proper and RP, marking him out as better bred than the ragtag bunch of NPCs you usually encounter. You're a beast hunter, aren't you? I knew it. That's precisely how I started out. Oh, beg pardon. You may call me Alfred. Protégé of Master Ligarius, hunter of vile bloods. Volta, master of the league, has a bitter northern accent, such as you might find in a gritty Channel 4 drama set in the 70s. He even sort of dresses like an old-fashioned policeman. The night brims with defiled scum and is permeated by their rotten stench. Just think, now you're all set to hunt and kill to your heart's content. Braydor sounds very estuary. He has a regretful tone for a church assassin. Perhaps he should have chosen a different line of work. Well, well, look who's here. Welcome to my quarters. I've never entertained a guest before. Simon the Harrowed has a snide, very posh voice, like a villain in an old-fashioned boarding school film. Do you know why the hunters are drawn to this nightmare? Because it sprouted from their very misdeeds. Things that some would rather keep secret. Old Hunter Yamamura has a well-spoken estuary accent which he mostly utilises to jabber nonsense in his prison cell. Drowded by life with a steady strife, coloured by blood but always clear of mind, proud under the church, beasts are a curse and curse is a shackle. Poor old Saint Adeline hasn't had an easy time of things what we're being strapped down and forcibly injected like a but she manages to babble away in a perfectly posh RP accent. Hello? Hello? Is anyone there? Please, somebody, I need help. Vicar Amelia, hilariously referred to as Vicar Amelia by some American YouTubers, has a softly spoken RP accent before becoming a big babbling wolf monster and sadly losing some of her eloquence.
Father Gascoigne, much like Father Ted, is Irish. An interesting decision, but more than fitting. Beasts all over the shop. You'll be one of them, sooner or later. Mikalash, host of the Nightmare, is the definition of an estuary accent. Perfect fit for the character. No one can catch us. No one can stop us now. <laughs> Ludwig the Accursed has a gruff RP accent. He's the first hunter of the church, so he can pretty much sound however he wants the big show off. All along, my true mentor, my guiding moonlight. Lady Maria of the Astral Clock Tower is much like the doll in appearance and accent, perhaps sounding a tad more Russian. Adds to her own sense of being from elsewhere. A corpse should be left well alone. Oh, I know very well. How the secrets beckon so sweetly. Lawrence, the first vicar, much like his former Master Willem, also has an academic RP accent. Master Willem, I've come to bid you farewell. I tell you I will not forget our adage. I must take my leave. And lastly, dirty old bastard German has a dirty old Cockney accent. Especially dirty when telling you his suggestions on what to do with the plain doll. You're welcome to use whatever you find. Even the doll, should it please you. Bye then.